Hi, Sun Chives. Welcome back to our channel, Mad Curls. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lori Ann. And welcome to another Treatment Tuesday video on our channel. Mm -hmm. If you are new here, Mom, tell them what Treatment Tuesdays are on this channel. Treatment Tuesdays are on this channel. <laughs> I always repeat the question because that's what I was taught in school. Yeah, you're supposed to. <laughs> right, you're supposed to, you to repeat the question and right. then answer it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's what you do, boys and girls. You ask a question, you repeat the question. Is it because question. you want to make sure that you get it right? Probably. Okay. And so, like, people know, like, what you're answering, so you just kind of, or at least, I mean, maybe it's like a sentence starter. You just, like, repeat the question and then you go on. Okay. Yeah. No, but you now definitely learned just a lot of extra words that you guys are probably tired of right now. Okay. So, anyway, let's get to the point. Treatment Tuesdays are a day that we set aside. We picked Tuesday because everybody else had, oh, boy, Mask Monday. And so, we decided <laughs> to do Treatment Tuesday and just to shake up the game a little bit. And what it is, is just a day that we set aside to deep condition our hair. Yeah. Once a week. Um, we probably deep condition our hair more than once a week but we just kind of put that day aside so that you guys can watch it tune in and just kind of like ring a bell in your head like mm -hmm. oh my gosh I have the deep condition because not yeah. everybody has that as part of their regimen and we feel like it's very important for hair growth and for health mm -hmm. strength of your hair and all of that and so we just put aside and um a one day a week this winter because winter is really rough on your hair yeah it and is. so we just figured and we said in our winter routine video that you should deep condition your hair twice a week yeah it's good to deep condition your hair so twice who a has been following that regimen yeah not necessarily twice a week with or once a week or? not necessarily with us but just put that in the comments who really has been doing that this winter yeah. and do you feel like it's made a difference right um, because if you haven't never deep conditioned and you kind of like started that practice I think it's a good healthy practice and what are the results on your hair yeah Okay. All right, so the treatment we are going to be doing today is um, this Myel treatment. It is the Myel Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask. And we are both doing it because um, there we were, just minding our business. There we were, minding our own business as usual. <laughs> as usual. <laughs> and we put our P.O. box out there. You guys know we just recently got a P.O. box. And we, we thought it was basically just for you guys to send us, like, whatever you wanted to send us. Say hi, write a note, whatever. Mm -hmm. And we started getting boxes from companies in there. And Myel was one of them. We've never spoken to Myel. Myel's never emailed us, none of that. Um, but there was a package in there from Myel, and it had their Rosemary Mint uh, collection in there and you guys had mentioned it I've kind of seen it floating seen around it. Instagram yes. YouTube a little bit I like the colors yeah mm -hmm. so we were like we might as well they sent it to us let's dive into I know. it that so. was like that was like a little plus because we're like oh this is what happens when you have a PO box you yeah get things. you get stuff <laughs> so this was in there so thank you Myel and so we um we got most of the line here so in this video we're gonna be showing you guys the mask and then in our styling video you guys know we always do treatment Tuesday and then we go into a styling video mm -hmm. we're gonna use the styler in that video yeah but in this video the mask right so we there. are both doing it yes and um we're excited we're excited. We are excited. It has kind of like a minty. Yeah, smell, right? so it's rosemary mint, and you absolutely get that. Yes, yeah, yeah. You you yeah, smell you the mint. Definitely smell the mint. Smell the mint. So the product is white. Mint customarily yeah. is for stimulating the scalp. Mm -hmm. So um, for hair growth. Oh, you know your stuff. Oh, do, girl. <laughs> I like stay on the channel another day. <laughs> It's infused with biotin and encourages growth. Oh, yeah. So the mint okay. definitely like wakes your scalp up and it does. wakes your sinuses and stuff up too. Um, they have a shampoo in the line. Mm -hmm. We might as well say what we shampooed with. Yes. We well, shampooed with the line, mm -hmm. um, the shampoo in the line, the rosemary mint strengthening shampoo. And like all my sinuses and chest and nostrils and everything was just like air passages were clear. Well, I'll get to my reaction when I'm doing my hair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So yeah, let's um, talk while we do our hair. Okay. So um, if you want to see us uh, put this product in our hair and hear more about the products we've used so far on this line, then please keep watching. Please keep watching. So first things first, water. water. Sorry, it took us a little while to come back. Although you guys won't notice because um, we were fighting over the water bottles. <laughs> I wanted the pink. I wanted the pink. I thought that was way, way too much pink. Yeah, you were you. trying to justify. You're like, was too much pink? No, you just want the pink one. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hear any of that noise. No. Okay. I took off my microfiber towel, so now it just made me bland. Okay. All right, so let's get back to the product. So in the line, there is a shampoo. Mm -hmm. it smells like men, same thing. Infused with biotin, encourages growth, that kind of thing. And we both used it. Maya, you used it first. I did. I used it first. It's pumped out um, kind of like a creamy shampoo. Mm -hmm. I put it in my hair. It immediately lathered. It lathered. But my hair was tangled, as it always is when I shampoo it. I never just do this detangling thing. You started that new detangling thing before you get in. Mm -hmm. Perhaps your hair is longer. And why did you start that? Detangling before you shampoo. I don't know. So you guys always knew I detangled my hair in the shower, obviously with conditioner. And then for some reason I started, maybe it's like a pre-poo kind of, but I take conditioner and I spray my hair while it's dry. I'm out of the shower and I 
I put some Aussie in it and I detangle my hair out of the shower. I feel like I lose, I've been losing less hair that way. Okay. So I detangle out of the shower okay. these well, days. I never do, I never have, don't know if I will, but I wish today I had because the shampoo is a shampoo, as I always say, acts accordingly. And I wasn't impressed as I never am with my else um, products, but um, it got the job done. I rinsed my hair out. My hair was just, it was just a mass of tangles. Just to, to stay, to stick to the line, what I ended up doing was taking the pomegranate, um, what's the, that? The pomegranate and honey. The pomegranate and honey, honey. to put it through, to, almost like as a, as a leave-in, to put it through so I could detangle So the Myel pomegranate and honey. Yes. Uh, their new shampoo and conditioner, you went in with the conditioner. Yes. So the thing with this line is, there's a shampoo and then there is a mask. So the mask, I believe, um... I don't know. I guess if you were doing this in the shower, even though it says yes. you leave it in for 15, 20 minutes, maybe you're supposed to detangle with this. Yes, you because can, it, has, it has so much slip. So because what? you, this mask. How do you know? Because I'm putting it in my hair now. Oh, right now. Okay. Yeah. I was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, as I'm pulling it through, so, so there yeah. is the, the step that I was missing because we want to put the mask, the treatment Tuesday on film. Yeah. But if I would have gone to my normal steps. If I wasn't filming this, I would have washed with that shampoo that I was not impressed with. But then this is the impressive moment because it is pulling my tangles out, which was left of my tangles. Okay. But um so but that's, you're, you're that's, supposed to leave it in for yeah. 15, 20 minutes, okay. this mask. Okay. Um so for me, what I've been doing lately, like I said, is detangling out of the shower. So when I get in, it definitely changes my shampoo results. Because sometimes I'm like, I don't like a shampoo. It's because my hair is a mass of tangles. But with the sh with this shampoo, I actually liked it. I think maybe because my hair was already detangled. So I okay. put it in. I was like rubbing it all in my scalp. I felt that stimulation. To me, I was able to run it through my hair. Lots and lots and lots of lather. I rinsed it out and my hair felt nice. So wow. I, I actually like the shampoo. Okay. I think the shampoo's nice. I like the minty feel on my scalp. I like, I like the shampoo. And we were talking about the pump. And how you barely get anything out of the pump when you pump it down there's they give you like no space mm -hmm. and that's because on the directions it says a dime size amount so they make sure you're going to be pumping out a dime size amount even though wow. for us i kept going pump 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 i pump, wonder why brands specify what how much you need and what's the purpose of that because some people what's a dime size to me may not be a dime size to you my hair needs a little bit more than a dime size because it's dense um i don't know i don't know how well, you can relegate this was very very lathery so a little bit does go a long way yeah. with that shampoo but yeah. those are our two different experiences with it we both did it two different ways my hair was what a day three wash and go mm -hmm. and it was quite thick tangled with product and stuff and so i did not do any pre anything i just went right in with the shampoo which tangled it on itself even more and then because we were filming now i'm relegated to slapping on a plastic cap and a microfiber towel and waiting until it's time to film and so I was too nervous about that. I was not going to lose my hair over that. So I went in with a conditioner, uh, a regular conditioner by Mayel, the pomegranate mm -hmm. conditioner. Which you liked. I heard which, you in there. Which I liked. Yeah. I, I really liked. Because that was in my um, 2018 top favorites. Mm -hmm. I've been talking about it since I got it. Love the pomegranate and honey shampoo and conditioner. Yeah, I had never used it. So I was impressed with that. It, it melted my tangles right away, as is this mask. Yeah. So if I would have followed it according to plan, shampoo, and then put in the mask, I wouldn't have had a problem. So I probably should, how do you do that? Rewind. Yeah, rewind. Put in that little special effect. Yeah. Okay, rewind what I said because it's not fair. I don't like to be unfair to products and brands. Mm -hmm. And so Mayel did not say for me to shampoo and put a plastic cap on. They said shampoo and then go in with the mask, and I did not do that. Yeah. So that's why my hair was a mass of tangles. But this mask has slip, like you keep saying. Definitely. Yes. It feels nice. Oops. What I'm noticing is whiteness in my hair. And, um, uh, it jogged my memory to um, to remind you guys, to tell you guys that there is coconut oil in this this deep conditioner, which I know some of you guys um, don't really care for, and sometimes it doesn't do the best in my hair. So there is coconut oil in this. There is no protein in this. Um, it is supposed to be moisturizing. That's funny because coconut oil. I used to be the queen of coconut oil. Yeah. Uh, maybe my after my first big chop, and that's why all those videos during that time, my highlights were popping ton. Mm -hmm. Okay, because coconut oil draws, I think, the sun to your hair, or does something for highlights. Whatever it does, it did because my highlights always looked great, and now I always find myself with drab highlights, no matter 
how often I do them and all of that. It just never seems like they pop the way they did in those original videos. And I'm like, what did I do differently? That was because I was on my coconut nut kit. My coconut nut. My coconut oil kit. Yeah. I got in that great big jar from um, Walgreens. I think it's, it's hit or miss. When I put it in myself, like from the big jars, like to seal my ends and stuff like that, yeah. it works. But sometimes in products, um, like Cantu, like there's some issues with, uh, with coconut oil. Like, I don't know. Okay. It's, it's hit or miss, but I like when I can put it in myself from like a jar you just buy and put it in. Yes. But just so you guys know, that is in there. I think that's what I was doing that the, the, the year that I always saw highlights. Um, I was always just dousing my head down at night for whatever reason before I went to sleep. Just mm -hmm. running coconut oil through my hair and my yeah. highlights, highlights stayed highlighted. Bright and looking and popping. Right. And then I got away from it. So... Info time. I always come with all the information. Of course. So um, I believe all the products in the Mayel Rosemary and Mint are $9.99. And they can be found on her website at Target at Sally Beauty. I think, I think that's it. For now. That's, well, at least those are three places. Okay. Um, and uh, it is curly girl friendly. On the packaging it says no parabens, sulfate, paraffin, silicone, all of that. Okay. And um, yeah. Yes, I like the experience again so they say no heat well they don't say no heat but they don't say to use heat so I'm not really sure what we're about to do here I like using heat on my hair so I but it doesn't specify heat? it does not it just says fit, leave in for 15 20 minutes okay but it I wonder what happens when they don't say heat and you do heat does it make it better does it add anything to it is it a waste of your time does it take away does it cancel out what it's supposed to do. I don't know. Does I anyone like the... know if it doesn't say heat and you do heat what happens? Your hair falls out. <laughs> <laughs> like I like the feeling of like my hair being hot. I feel like it's really doing something. Yeah. So I feel like I'm gonna do the um the leggings trick. Are you? Yeah. I think Kid Sister told me I was busted for the leggings trip. I think it was Kid Sister. No. <laughs> Why'd you say not, not bothered. I look crazy with the leggings on my head. <laughs> I'm bothered. Um so I think I'm going to do the leggings hat again okay and do some heat maybe i'll sit under the, the heated dryer yeah but the hair feels very very soft and nice yes i like it definitely has slip all right do all masks have slip i mean we've done no. enough of them no they don't right no so this is exceptional yeah i think it so definitely it, it definitely does. feels nice definitely has slip yes. i can't have hair in my products i can't i can't deal with <laughs> you said that. it was yours i didn't say it was mine but i but i indicated it was yours what? <laughs> I said I didn't say it was mine. I said, but I ended. No, I that said. I said, who said the products were yours? Oh, oh, girl, please. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh wait, I usually do my hair. Different. I like you know the what? fact that we used quite a bit and um, we barely made a dent. We barely made a dent. Yeah, it's barely. Really, it's really, it's really good. Cute packaging. Mm-hmm. All that Very noise. Cute. All that stuff. Oh, okay. Very cute so colors. we are going to let this sit for. 15 20 minutes mm -hmm. and we will be back to give you guys our final thoughts right. on this product I don't blink your eyes because we'll be right back <laughs> okay okay. All right. Bye. Bye. okay we are back the product is rinsed out of our hair and my hair is super soft yeah. and it's on its way to drying as our hair normally is at mm -hmm. this point and um look at the curls they're nice yeah my hair when I was rinsing it out you could feel Sorry. the softness in it when it was coming out, and um, yeah, in the um, in this not the, like my hair was coming out in the sink. When the product was coming out in the sink, mm -hmm. you could just feel as it was leaving the softness that it was leaving behind. Yeah, so it felt yeah. good going in, and then mm -hmm. it felt good after the heat. Like when I was unraveling my twist, because I had to like twist my hair and go like this to do my um, what is it the uh, the blow drying hack? Okay, and um, my hair just felt really soft. It was hot, but it was like soft. Then once yes. I rinsed it out, it like felt like butter while the water was like taking it out. And now both of our hair is on our way to drying, and our curls are just like, Hi. Yeah. Yep. yeah. We both used heat. It does not require heat, no. but we both kind of got in the habit because the last few treatments um, required heat. So yeah. we just kind of got used to that, and we just think it adds a little extra something. I don't think it hurts it. No, I, I think, think it adds even something. with deep conditioners and stuff that say don't like that don't have like a heat direction on yeah. it. Um, I was watching a YouTube. That's where I got it from. A, a YouTuber like a while ago. She was she had like a video. She was like deep conditioning every 
week for like three months and like she changed her hair texture right, or something. Yeah. I don't know. It was some weird video I, yeah, saw. I saw. that. But I was like, she said that deep conditioning um, with heat kicks it up a notch. She, she was like, you know, deep yeah. conditioning with heat. And so ever since that, we deep conditioned with heat. This said you don't have to, but um, we, we did. did. And mm -hmm. um, I like it. I like it. I like this product. Yeah. All right, I Mayo. Do. I do. I like okay. it. I like, I like that it. it had slipped. Mm -hmm. Yep. I take back my words in the beginning that I said that my hair was super tangled. And it, and it was. That doesn't change but the fact that you're supposed to follow it up with that yeah, makes to make it easier yeah yeah um that makes sense so you yeah. like you shampoo and then you follow up with yes. this and you should be able to detangle your hair with this mm -hmm. and then just kind of leave it in right probably once you're done detangling it would have been sitting in your hair for like 20 minutes anyway right. like 15 20 minutes because yeah you should not be rushing detangling your hair yeah sections work in small sections mm -hmm. start at the ends work your way up that's right that's what all you those, told me last week all those tips yep when detangling start at your ends and brush up Okay. Um, so yeah, this mask is a go. Definitely. Would you say the shampoo is a go? Um, used according to directions, which that by itself, I think you have to definitely follow it with something with slip in it, probably preferably their mask, yeah. but by itself. Or detangle ahead of time. Detangle ahead of time, that's your new thing, but not most people, not a lot of people don't do that. I Some people pre-poo, and that's how yeah. they detangle their hair. Okay. Yeah. So. Depending on have, how you do it. Yeah. It's not that it tangles the hair, it's that it's a shampoo, and if your hair is tangled, tangled. some do better than others. Some shampoos automatically detangle as you're shampooing. This one is not one of those shampoos, and a lot of them are not because that's not what they're meant yeah. to do. That's your so, odd thing that you do, even yeah. though some people said that they do it too, not a whole lot of people. Yeah. They're in a very small I used to use minority. the lather and the bubbles to help pull yeah. the tangles like, Mom, out. what are you doing? But that's yeah. not the way you're supposed to use shampoo. Um, and so I kind of probably gauge that on that thinking, but shampoo is not meant for that. This shampoo definitely does not do that. Yeah. And it's That's a the reason why I always <laughs> didn't like shampoo because it's like I'm coming off of like, you know, a week long wash and go three days, four days, whatever. Yeah. And I'm putting shampoo in and what, like it's cleaning your hair, but my hair is always just one big dread. Like, so yeah. that's why I never like shampoo because like the whole thing just doesn't make sense. Don't mind to me. me while I spray my hair as it's drying because we have to film afterwards. Oh, we have to film another video. Yeah, okay. my hair is drying as we speak. I know, mine is too. Okay, so we are <laughs> wrapping this up right now. All right, so um, thank you for watching another Macros Treatment Tuesday. Definitely check out these Myel products, these ones that we've shown because they are a go. Yes. There are stylers in this uh, Myel line. We will be mm -hmm. getting to that right now. <laughs> in our next video. Excited about that. Okay. Okay. All right. So should we give them a sneak peek? This yes. is the styler. The yes. um, it is a styling cream and it's like a cream gel. It's a one and done. Yes. So that is what's coming. Yes, we haven't done a one and done in a while. We right? haven't, and that's how they. That's what the directions are. It's supposed to provide the perfect hold, and tame frizz, and nourish and moisture. So it's supposed to be all of that just awesome. in this one product. So we will be seeing if this does that we'll in see. the video we are getting ready to film. Okay. All right. So thank you so much for watching this here video. And we will see you in our next video. See you in our next video. Right. Bye. Bye.